Cognitive and psychological problems after an ICU stay. Doreen got the flu, followed by pneumonia and sepsis. Her situation was critical. She was on mechanical ventilation and kept asleep for 10 days. After six weeks, she was discharged from the hospital to continue her recovery at home. She has been at home now for a few months and is rehabilitating under the guidance of the physiotherapist. She can now walk quite well, but she remains tired and the pain in her shoulders is increasing. During the day, she can't find any peace and has flashbacks of the ICU. She has little energy for visitors. She can't manage to properly read a book or magazine. She's also very forgetful and has trouble writing a shopping list. She sleeps badly at night and has nightmares. She can't move or breathe. She wakes up in a panic. All of this makes her feel insecure. She feels hopeless and cries a lot. Doreen feels like everything is a struggle now. Nevertheless, she is working half days in her job as a teacher. She can barely manage that. And she gets easily irritated and angry at the children. Teaching isn't going well, and she feels embarrassed whenever she starts crying in front of the class. She feels like she's not herself anymore, and has no idea what to do next. She doesn't want to keep going this way. And to top it off, her husband Ricardo is overprotective. He constantly checks on her, whether she's eating enough and healthily enough, exercising enough and properly following the rehabilitation scheme. This is causing tension in their relationship. She goes to see her GP. Together, they decide that a psychologist or coach could help. After a critical illness and ICU stay, you can still suffer from prolonged cognitive and psychological complaints. These are part of the post-intensive care syndrome, or PICS. These complaints can cause a great deal of extra stress and can exist alongside other PICS complaints. Cognitive problems are trouble processing information, such as forgetfulness and loss of concentration. Planning and multitasking are difficult. Problems searching for words. Extra sensitivity to light and noise and getting exhausted from the company of too many people. Psychological problems are an anxiety disorder. This gives palpitations, irritability, a dry mouth and excessive sweating. A depression causes mainly lethargy and gloominess. Symptoms of post-traumatic stress are nightmares and flashbacks, memory avoidance, sensitivity and tension, irritability, and severe shock reactions. Restlessness, sleep problems, and a feeling of exhaustion are very common. The psychologist treats Doreen for the anxiety and flashbacks. She also gets exercises for her memory problems. Together with Ricardo, she reads the journal he wrote at the ICU. She finds that difficult, but talking about it together makes them both feel better. Doreen looks for peer support in the Facebook group, and she goes to the ICU cafe together with Ricardo. At first, she feels nervous. They identify with the stories of the others and get tips and support. That gives them peace of mind and reassurance. They're not the only ones who have gone through this. Doreen notices her memory and concentration are improving. She's sleeping better and having fewer nightmares. Because of this, she has more energy. After a year, she is teaching again, now part-time. <laughs>